what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? As nationwide protests continue over the death of George Floyd, a black man who was killed when a white Minneapolis police officer kneeled on his neck last month, Ohio is trying to declare racism a public health emergency. Many of the statements, including those from the American Medical Association, American College of Physicians, the American Academy of Pediatrics, and the American Public Health Association, have highlighted the police brutality that disproportionately affects Black Americans, but all of them ultimately allude to a more foundational health threat. Health encompasses mental, social, economic, and educational success and stability, all of which are eroded by structural racism. If U.S. institutions are dead serious about combating racism like the public health crisis it is, they need not address the symptoms, but the causes. The centuries-old system that oppresses Black people and others of color. Go to the root. It's a stain in the brain. And we're talking from the medical, educational, governmental, environmental, every other mental that you can name in America, every so-called system, even the banking system, the housing system, everything you can name, it's totally ran by racist ideologies. It's the system. And all of it needs to be dismantled. And you got to start with the people at the top. A lot of these people are tenured. They got to go. On all levels. The trip part about it is all of these institutions, not to leave out law enforcement, the judicial system, all of these institutions that's supposed to hold up prop up a country. They're the most corrupt. This is why America is going backwards socially. Because, you know, we get nicer homes and cars and technology advances. Everything advances except the human heart. Everything advances except the human heart and brain. It don't, it don't develop. It doesn't advance. Americans have a problem with learning from his past, like learning from the past and not repeating the past mistakes. I feel like we're stuck in a damn time zone, man. Like we, we, we're stuck. It's like this country is going backwards. Starting with the president. It's got to be something wrong with you when your convictions that you have in life, the things that really shape you to be who you are, if, if you were abused growing up, you know, if you were neglected, it was probably somebody that looked like you. If you got cheated on, you're racist. Probably got cheated on by somebody that looked like you. Got chased home from school, you probably went to a white school. It was probably somebody that looked like you. Lost that promotion. Probably was somebody that looked like you. Got fired probably was somebody that looked like you. Because to be a true racist, you would never work for somebody else, right? You would never work for the people that you are racist against, right? 
You got to be a true race. You got to be real with it. If these are the things that gives us our strongest convictions, why not hate the people that look like you too like that? Like, like why not like hate them with a passion? Why not jump out the car, the squad car, and beat them with batons? Shoot them when they're running away. Why not be extra rude to them? It's a mental illness, fam. It's something wrong with them. It's not natural. It's just not a natural thing for people to hate. Look, you've seen babies play together. You've seen babies interact with one another. Babies see color but they don't see a difference. My daughter taught me that. Babies see colors, but they don't see a difference. In other words, you can see young kids, little kids on a playground and they're having fun just enjoying themselves until an adult come over and say, hey, hey don't play with them. Uh -uh, don't do that. It's the adults. They're the ones who fuck kids up. The parents, they're the ones. And I can guarantee you that they got fucked up by their parents. And it goes on and on and on. Yeah, racism is a mental illness. And I personally don't think that you can fix the mental illness because it starts at home. Therefore, you have to punish them when they get out of line. It's as simple as that. When they use their racism to tread on other people's civil liberties, they gotta be checked. And I mean checked often. If you're one of those people that this shoe fits, your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What the haters talking about? <laughs>